the world held its breath. On the coast of South Texas a giant stood ready, starship gleaming under the morning sun prepared for its tenth flight. News channels across the globe broadcasted live from Starbase. The countdown echoed in millions of homes, a rhythmic heartbeat of anticipation. This was more than just another launch, it was a bold step into a new era of space travel. The air crackled with excitement and the low rumble of fueling operations. Today Starship would attempt something it had never done before, deploy a payload in orbit. This was the moment the entire program had been building towards, a demonstration that Starship was ready to become a workhorse for the cosmos. The primary goal reach orbit, open the payload bay doors, and deploy a full stack of simulated Starlink satellites. Success would prove Starship's role as the world's most capable satellite delivery system. The ship would then face a grueling high-speed re-entry, testing its heat shield and control surfaces under extreme conditions. Every phase of the flight was designed to push the vehicle to its absolute limits. In mission control, engineers stared intently at their screens, their faces illuminated by streams of data. The weather was perfect, the vehicle was healthy, all systems were go. The final seconds of the countdown began, a collective intake of breath from a global audience. 10, 9, 8. The world watched as a new chapter in our journey to the stars was about to be written. This was not just a rocket launch, it was a declaration of intent. Humanity was preparing to take its next giant leap, and Starship was the vessel of that ambition. The future of spaceflight was about to unfold before our eyes, and with it, the promise of a new era. To understand the importance of this flight, we must first understand Starlink. Imagine a vast net cast around our planet, not of rope, but of light. Starlink is a constellation of thousands of small satellites in low Earth orbit, working together to provide high-speed internet everywhere. From remote villages to Antarctic research stations, Starlink aims to connect the unconnected. What sets Starlink apart is speed and proximity. Its satellites are over 60 times closer to Earth than traditional ones, slashing latency and making connections fast and responsive. It's like replacing a few distant highways with a dense grid of local streets, letting data take the shortest, fastest route. With each launch the network grows stronger and more reliable, a living, expanding infrastructure in the sky. This web of light isn't just for streaming or gaming, it's a tool for education, disaster relief and scientific research. A school in a remote area can access the world's libraries. Emergency responders can coordinate when ground networks fail. Starlink is more than internet, it's empowerment and knowledge, a global utility built in space, and Starship is the key to building it faster than ever before. With Starship the pace of deployment accelerates making global connectivity a reality. The implications are profound, bridging the digital divide, enabling innovation, and transforming lives. This mission isn't just about technology, it's about opportunity. The sky is no longer the limit, Starlink's web of light is growing and Starship is the engine behind it. The future of global communication is being built, one launch at a time, and today, that future takes a giant leap forward. The final seconds ticked away. At T-Zero, the world changed. A torrent of fire and steam erupted from the Super Heavy booster, 33 Raptor engines igniting in a controlled sequence of fury. The rocket stood engulfed in its own power, then surged upward, a silver needle rising on a pillar of flame. The initial ascent was a spectacle of raw power, pushing Starship skyward with millions of pounds of thrust. Onboard cameras showed the Texas coastline shrinking below, Earth receding into the distance. Inside Mission Control, calm callouts marked each milestone. Max Q, the moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure, came and went as the vehicle sliced through the atmosphere. The sky outside shifted from blue to black, the curvature of Earth a thin blue line. The engines performed flawlessly, a symphony of controlled combustion. After two and a half minutes, the Super Heavy's engines began to shut down. Booster engine cut off. The stack coasted upward, momentum carrying it toward the edge of space. Next, the critical and spectacular hot stage separation. Separation is a dance of fire and precision, hot staging. As the booster's engines shut down, Starship's six engines ignited while still attached. A vented ring at the booster's top let exhaust escape, pushing the stages apart with immense force. From the ground, it looked like a celestial firework as the two parts gracefully parted ways. The super-heavy booster began its return to Earth, while Starship continued its relentless climb to orbit. The ship's engines, three sea level, three vacuum, burned with brilliant intensity, adding the final velocity for orbit. Meanwhile the booster flipped, 
reignited engines for a boost back burn, and aimed for splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. This entire sequence is a marvel of automation and engineering, a cosmic ballet choreographed by computers. Hot staging saves weight and increases payload capacity, making Starship more efficient. Two separate missions were now underway, both critical to the future of reusable rocketry. The dance was far from over. After a flawless burn, Starship's engines shut down, silence in orbit. For the first time, Starship prepared to do its real job, deliver a payload. Mission Control sent the command. The giant payload bay door opened, revealing a stack of simulated Starlink satellites. This test wasn't about adding to the constellation but proving the deployment mechanism. The satellites were held in a dispenser, like a giant Pez candy dispenser. The command initiate deployment. With a gentle push, the stack floated out, drifting silently into the void. Onboard cameras captured the historic moment, a block of satellites tumbling against the swirling clouds of Earth. The dispenser worked perfectly. This demonstration proved Starship could carry massive payloads, open its doors, and release cargo in orbit. The sheer size and capacity of Starship's bay are unprecedented. This single test validated the vehicle's core purpose. The door to a new era of space logistics had just been opened. To appreciate this moment, consider scale. Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse, can carry about 60 first-gen Starlink satellites per launch. Starship's payload bay is larger than the entire Falcon 9 rocket. On this test, it carried a simulated payload equivalent to the next-gen V2 Starlink satellites, much larger and more capable. Falcon 9 can only carry a handful of these V2S, Starship is designed for up to 150-200 at once. This is a monumental leap in capability. One Starship launch could deploy more internet capacity than multiple Falcon 9 launches combined. The network can be completed and upgraded faster with more powerful satellites. It's the difference between building a house brick by brick and lifting entire walls into place. The speed and scale of deployment are in a different league. With Starship, the Starlink network can grow exponentially. Higher speeds, lower latency, robust coverage. Flight 10's payload test proved this new economic reality is within reach. The future of abundant, affordable space infrastructure is here. With the payload deployed, Starship's most dangerous phase began atmospheric re-entry. The ship fired its engines for a deorbit burn, then turned sideways, belly flop maneuver, to use the atmosphere as a brake. As it hit the upper layers, air compressed and heated, forming a sheath of plasma. Temperatures soared to over 1,400 degrees Celsius, a trial by fire. The heat shield's thousands of ceramic tiles protected the ship from searing heat. Onboard cameras showed a river of orange and red plasma flowing over the flaps. This flight pushed the heat shield to its limits, gathering data on performance under extreme conditions. The flaps constantly adjusted, controlling descent and managing heat. The ship remained stable and controlled, streaming invaluable data to mission control. Starship survived the fire, its most difficult test yet. Starship Flight 10 was a mission of technical firsts, redefining what's possible in spaceflight. The successful operation of the payload bay door and satellite deployment was a milestone, transforming Starship from experiment to functional cargo ship. Hot staging was executed flawlessly with a full-mass Starship, confirming the efficiency of this bold design. The mission pushed the boundaries of re-entry, gathering critical data on the thermal protection system's limits. Real progress means testing until you find the margins. This flight did just that. The flap's ability to control the ship under extreme stress was proven. Every sensor delivered data to build a safer, more capable ship for future human missions. Most importantly, all these complex systems worked together in a single, successful mission. This was the first end-to-end -end demonstration of Starship's architecture. It was a dress rehearsal for the future, and a stunning success. After surviving re-entry, Starship fell through the lower atmosphere, belly-facing Earth. It slowed from orbital velocity to a few hundred kilometers per hour. The final maneuver, the landing flip. At a few thousand feet, Starship ignited two Raptor engines, pivoting from horizontal to vertical in seconds. The engines throttled with precision, slowing the descent to a gentle pace. The goal, a controlled splashdown in the ocean, proving the landing maneuver. The engines cut off, and Starship settled into the water with a massive splash, upright for a moment before tipping over. In mission control, cheers erupted. Every objective achieved. This splashdown was more than the end of a mission. It was the start of a new chapter in exploration. Starship Flight 10 proved a fully reusable, super heavy lift launch system is now reality. 
This vehicle can build cities on Mars, construct giant telescopes, and take humanity to new worlds. The splash in the Indian Ocean will echo through history. The path to the stars is now open.